Hi, my name is Rona. I am mum to three beautiful children. Jamie is 15, who has a diagnosis of Asperger's, Joshua, who is five with a diagnosis of autism, and Molly, who is three, who has Down syndrome. Um, so I have a blog called Special Needs Mum, um, quite adequately named. Um, but what I want to talk today is about CBD oil. We've been using CBD oil in our household for three years and I am probably the biggest advocate you'll ever come across for it um, and I take it myself. So I just want to explain a little bit about the oil I'm taking and why we started it. Joshua was diagnosed with autism at age two to two and a half um, and it was around, around age three that I was recommended CBD oil to help with his meltdowns and to help with his anxieties. He wasn't eating, he was stimming a lot um, had an awful lot of of speech he had lost his speech but had an awful lot of anxiety and um you know was going through a really hard time and um, he'd lost all his eye contact no communication so um it was a it was turns out to be a friend now it was a nurse who actually recommended it to me her nephew had started taking the oil and had seen massive differences so i googled it looked it up and it was enough for me to be convinced and we started the next week and we had instant results um it did take time when I see instant results. Uh, we saw changes within the first day. He started eating more food the first day, food he hadn't touched in years, such as vegetables. And then he had a um, weekly kind of increase in activity and eye contact. Speech was the last thing to come, but he now at age five has full sentences. Um, it's not perfect. He has a lot of work on his pronunciation and grammar to do, but it's perfect for us. We hear him perfectly. Um, and we decided then to start Molly on it, who has Down syndrome, but she wasn't sleeping at night and again to help her focus and get more um you know more attention span we started her in the oil about a year and a half ago and she slept the nights in so for us that's a definite plus and she has actually been the two kids actually have haven't been sick since uh joshua has asthma quite severe asthma hasn't had an asthma attack in over a year and a half since um we since really getting in on the CBD oil so I do put that down to somewhat some of that because he was in hospital probably every month before that uh, with asthma attacks so um I started taking CBD oil um because I wanted to know what effect it was this is going way back I wanted to know what the effect it was having on the kids you know I had done all my research um so for people who don't know, CBD oil is completely legal in Ireland anyway. Uh, you just need to check your country if you're abroad, but most countries it's legal. Um, CBD comes from the hemp plant. It's not the same as recreational cannabis. So it doesn't give you a high, it doesn't make you're not addicted to it. It doesn't give schizophrenia. It doesn't give, you know, any sort of hallucinations. Uh, it's basically classed as a food supplement and it's literally like taking a cod liver oil in the morning. Um, it doesn't taste nice. It's uh, some people don't mind it. It's gross. I hate it. It's disgusting. And getting kids to take it can be a little bit difficult. So you can mix it with, you know, I mix it sometimes with cereal, Weedabix, it's just into the spoonful and give it in or a spoonful of yogurt. Um, it doesn't mix well, obviously, with water because it has oil. So oil and water don't mix. Um, but whatever way you can get it in, Joshua, I'm lucky enough at the moment, still takes it no problem in the mouth. Um, he's been a little bit more sensitive recently with smells. So he has a, had a bit of difficulty taking it, but I just... I just lob it in there and get it in there for him. I don't particularly like the taste myself. Um, but again, the effects of it are worth it. Um, so the benefits of it are less anxiety. Um, and I as again, I took it just to know how it felt. I didn't feel any difference when I took it, first of all. Um, I took it for two weeks and then was kind of going, this isn't doing anything. And I came off it. And it was only when I came off it, I went, oh my God, how much more anxiety I had, how much more stress. Obviously, I have a stressful life with three kids with special needs um, and I work um, two different jobs and um, obviously I run the home and everything else that goes with it. So I have a high anxiety life as such, but I'm the calmest person you will meet most of the time. Um, and yeah, so basically I went back on it then after that and I've never come off it since and not because it's addictive, just purely because I like the feeling of being honest. I get up in the morning after a great night's sleep, which I wasn't having before because I was going to bed, 100 million things running around my head. Um, now I go to bed and just switch off um, and I wake up in the morning with my to do list and I start doing it rather than before I was you know, going, oh, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do the other, and never getting anything done. This way, I just get up and do it. That's what I love about it. Um, and I think that's what it does for Joshua. It basically, with somebody with autism, when they have all these extra sensory issues going on, all these different noises are causing different effects, 
it kind of just calms all that down so that they can actually concentrate on what they're doing. Um, and then with food, it takes away a lot of the anxieties around food and uh, it definitely de-stresses you um, 100%. Um, as I say, all both kids sleep great now. Um, Josh or Jamie, my eldest boy, who's 15, um, he has mild Asperger's. So he takes it as well because he does suffer with anxiety at times um, and definitely has a major effect on him. He's much more calm. He still has bad days. And like I say, Jones, it's not a cure for everything, but it definitely helps him on, on bad days with any of the kids and myself. If it's a particularly stressful day, I'll give an extra dose. So just to talk to you about the oil we take, this is the Green Heart CBD oil. Um, it is Irish made, um, homegrown. It is um, made by two guys who I have met and they're the most genuine, real guys you're ever going to meet. Mark and Paul are fantastic. They're totally behind this brand in helping people. Um, and they're not, it's not a money making thing. They really want to help the farming industry in Ireland and to help people who they've seen the effects of this oil. Um, so that's just a bottle I had ready. This is my bottle that I'm using at the moment. So you always give it a good shake before you start. It comes with a dropper. So you fill the dropper up, squeeze it as much as you can. It fills fairly much to the top. It's not right up to the top. Um, and you basically put it in under the thumb and swallow, that's it. Um, if you can't get it under the tongue with the child, don't worry, it doesn't have to, once it gets into the mouth, it's fine. I say it doesn't taste very nice, but like literally two seconds or have a glass of water ready and it's gone in two seconds. Um, so it's a full dropper, morning and night. Some oils you need to build up slowly. Uh, with this oil I found from all the parents that have come back to me, just go straight into 0.7 mil, which is your full dropper, and um, morning and night time. If you want to do it in like a half, build it up in four days or something, you can, but really there's no need. I've gone straight in with this every time and it's been no problem. Um, and too little oil can make them, you know, can make a little bit more agitated. It can cause a little bit more um, hyperness. So if your child is being a bit hyper or, um, you know, over over anxiety or over um active it can be that they're too little oil too much oil will just make you a bit lethargic that's all you just basically feel a bit tired you wouldn't conk out or anything like that but you would just kind of feel Bleh. um and so the child might you might find them kind of a little bit lethargic on the couch or whatever watching a movie uh, which can be nice at times but um you want to find the right balance and every child is different but generally the 0.7 mil morning and night seems to be the balance that works for people but as i said during these more difficult times at the moment on lockdown i'm giving an extra dose where it's needed including myself if i'm having a day um because they're out of routine some of the times is a little bit more stressful i just take another dose as i need it and i just then sail through the day so um, the oil is available through the website. I'll leave the link um, at the end of the video here. I'm going to show you a video of Joshua's journey um, before and after starting CBD oil and how it has changed our lives with him. Um, and I have a blog on Instagram, which is at Molly and Joshua. And then on Facebook, we have an account at Molly and Joshua as well. And the YouTube channel is at Molly and Joshua. So love you to check them out and give us a follow. Um, as I said, I'm always open to questions. I answer every single message message that comes in so if you have any queries on cbd oil please send me a message they were very kind to give me a discount code which is molly and joshua um, and that's for 20 percent off the oil there is two different types of oil there's hemp oil and there's flaxseed oil so the flaxseed oil is the one that we take and it just tastes a flaxseed has basically been added to it i've been to the plant where the cbd oil is made i've watched it go from literally a plant to oil in literally minutes going across i will have a video coming up with that soon um but it's completely organic there's nothing added to this it is pure oil flaxseed is added to this one and it's purely for taste um, and that one seems to work better with kids with autism or you know where it's for anxiety and stress the hemp oil is the just a straight one with nothing added to it that seems to work better with people who have pain and um, aches and pains um and anything else you know and for sleep etc so um they come in two different strengths so there's 2.5 percent and five percent so basically it's double strength so unfortunately that also means it's double the taste so i found I so but obviously if you have the double strength when you buy you give half the dosage so it'll be one dropper over the you know over a day so like half a dropper in the morning half a dropper in the evening I definitely would still spread it out morning and evening 
for sleep patterns and um, it definitely works better for sleeping at night i found when i gave it all in the morning by night time it had kind of worn off and he needed more for night time um but it's very strong tasting so i prefer the 2.5 percent and give the full dropper morning and evening it comes at the moment in three different sizes 10 ml 20 ml and 30 ml i am pushing and pushing the two boys to get me 100 ml bottles because obviously we use this every month and um, and also to push to get capsules so i'm sure they're watching this um, and hopefully they will be getting onto that as soon as the lockdown is over but this oil is amazing and um, we have tried other oils uh joshua started off in charlotte's web and um, it was a fantastic oil it wasn't became unavailable in Ireland and it was coming and going. So we decided just to try some different oils. We tried two other brands and um, which had no effect on Joshua. He was completely starting to regress, which is a question we're always asked as well is if you stop taking the oil, will you regress? So yes, is the answer. And um, within a day, if Joshua hasn't had his oil, I will tell. I'll be able to tell if, say, my partner was meant to have given it to him and didn't. I'd know. Um, that he hadn't given it to him because his anxieties would be a bit higher he wouldn't be back to where he was by any stretch of the imagination but over time he would regress back Um, i've never tried it i don't particularly want to see him regress him back and um, like myself when i came off it i didn't like i didn't like having the stress in my life and i liked i preferred having the the more relaxed approach and um, again when you know if you have a busy household and kids are crying and you know rather than what i found i was doing was going Wah! and kind of freaking out going stop 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 it kind of gives you that few seconds to think and go okay well let's come up with a better idea for this and let me get something to distract them let me you know it gives you that few minutes or a few seconds just to calmly go all right kids enough shouting now for the moment let's do something else rather than the Wah! and then everybody's running around like lunatics so I hope that's made it a little bit clearer for you. Um, I'll sleep like a log tonight because I've already had a dose of this this evening. So I'll I'll be lovely um relaxed this evening. But I can't recommend it enough. Um, you know, all I say is if you have any hesitations or have any questions, ask me. Um, and if you, you know, are on the fence, just try it. You have nothing to lose. It's basically like a food supplement. It's not drugs. It's not illegal. Um, the oil with this THC in it, which is the medical cannabis that is illegal in most countries. And uh, that's the one everyone's fighting to get legalized. And the reason is because it has the hallucinogenic effect. It is like the medical cannabis. Um, but it does huge, massive improvements for people with like epilepsy and seizures and stuff like that. Unfortunately, because it's not regulated yet, uh, that's the problem with getting it licensed. But it's we are all campaigning for that because it has helped so many kids with epilepsy and adults um, with different neurological things that um, it has made a massive difference to. But in the meantime, CBD is there and it's really, really helpful, especially in these stressful times. So I hope that clears up a lot of the queries um, I've had over the last few days about that. And as I say, um, you can see all our our previous posts and highlights um, and all our journey throughout everything on the video I'm going to put up next. So happy watching and I'll talk soon. Thanks. What's that? Is that nice? <sighs> Have you a kissy? Hey, is that nice, Joshua? Yeah! Say hi, yeah. Say hello. Say hello on the phone. Give her a big kiss. Big kiss for Molly. Joshua? Joshua? Hey? 
Joshua. Are you eating my yum yums, Joshua? Hi. Hi, Joshua. Having fun? Yeah? Good boy. Hi, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, Mommy. Show Mommy. Joshua, look, Mommy. Oh, lovely kisses. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh. I love yeah. you get and ask the people I work with. He's a big guy, uh, but he's a teddy bear at heart. Fresh you are. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, I hoover you. I hoover you. <laughs> Well, that's enough milk. Will I help you? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.